Welcome back. It's time for Media Watch, and James Creedon joins me on set to take a look at the top stories in the French press today. Good evening. Good evening, indeed, Lana. Uh, we start with French politics, and that's been a recurrent debate, of course. The presidential campaign is in full swing. A series of debates are being held on television. Today, that's right. far uh, right uh, meeting for that. Des paroles et des actes. It's a show on France 2. And yesterday evening, you had Marine Le Pen uh, facing off, she's the far right candidate, son mm -hmm. or daughter rather, of um, Jean Marie Le Pen. And she was facing off with Jean Luc Mélenchon. So you can see the two of them here, far left. Now, I think a lot of people were rubbing their hands with glee waiting for this particular <laughs> duel because. A, a real clash there, of course, of the two extremes. <laughs> the opposite ends of the political spectrum, and they are known not to like each other very much, let's just say that. Jean Luc Mélenchon is known for having a particularly fiery personality, for attacking journalists wherever he can. And indeed, he got particularly annoyed with David. Pujadas at one point. He the said, are, news presenter. That's right, the news presenter saying, are you, are you, he said, are you moderating at all? Are you, are you just sleeping on the job? <laughs> he said, come on. Because Juicy, Marine... that's good television, it sounds like. <laughs> because Marine Le Pen was uh, getting too much time as far as he was concerned. Now, it, one particularly, um, I suppose, um, tense exchange between the two was over the fact that Jean-Luc Mélenchon had insulted her on a number of occasions in previous months, calling her in particular a semi demont which oh, half crazy, half, half demented. Cra half demented. So certainly it was very strong language. So she said, you know what? I'm not going to debate you. Now, the whole point of these uh, big you know, TV duels in the months running up to the election is that the candidates debate each other. And here they actually, ref she refused to interact with him. Now, uh, the reason for that, she said, is look, you're too low in the polls. You, uh, you know, you don't merit being she didn't want to engage with him to. at all. She's I, been doing quite well in the polls. She's she, been placing third. That's right. And she said, as somebody who represents 40% of France's working class vote, you know, I want to talk to somebody who is a real candidate, is a real politician. So who her strategy who is, was Jean-Luc Mélenchon was not of her caliber? You aren't even, you're not, you're, not, you're not at the races. And, you know, she said, it's clear that you're going to support François Hollande, the left-leaning candidate, in the second round. So I'm not going to talk to you. And also, you've insulted me in the past. So, I, well, she wasn't even talking to him. She was talking to David Pujadas. And so he came out with a joke that he'd probably already prepared. He said, look, I called you half demented. That still leaves a, a good half that's left. In other words, you <laughs> Glass know. Glass half full. <laughs> So look, it, it, was, it was good television and everybody was talking about it today. It was a big TV event of last night. Another case of good television here in France. A comedian made a prank phone call to a politician. These politicians must be used to it by now, shouldn't they? You'd think they'd be kind of prepped yet, for this kind of and thing. And yet it worked. And yet it Tell worked. More. Let's take a look on, on the computer here because we've got uh, the comedian is a guy by the name of Gérald Daon. <clears throat> now he's known for catching people out, these sort of prank phone calls. Let's take a listen to what he did to the very... <clears throat> on not well-known presidential candidate Nicolas Dupont et Jean. Uh, let's take a listen. He pretended to be Eric Cantona. Yeah. Hello. Hello, Dupont et Jean. Oui. Bonjour, c'est Cantona. Monsieur Cantona, je suis content de vous entendre. Sincèrement, entre nous, vous avez confiance en qui vous euh, Bon, j'ai absolument pas confiance en Sarkozy, qui est une catastrophe ambulante. Oui. C'est non mais c'est dramatique, dramatique, dramatique. Sincèrement, de vous en moi, je pense c'est une crapule. Ah mais moi, je le pense aussi. So he tricked this guy into saying that Nicolas Sarkozy uh, was um, all sorts of bad names, etc. <laughs> and he fell right into he the trap. He fell right into the trap. Now, let's take a listen to the next clip, because this was just a few days afterwards. Hello, Nicolas Dupont-Aignan, l'appareil. Eric Cantona, le vrai, cette fois. Le vrai, vraiment, ou maintenant, je fais attention. Uh, le, le, le vrai, le vrai, vraiment, le vrai, vraiment, je... C'est vrai que vous êtes un peu fort uh, sur, uh, sur Sarkozy, mais bon... Oui, je comprends, je comprends. Je comprends que fait pas deux fois le même coup, mais je serais vraiment pour de retourner deux fois dans le panneau. Voilà. He fell for it twice in one week. You know what they week. say, right? Fool me once, shame <laughs> on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. He should, I can't he, believe he fell for it twice. Twice. First, first was Monday, second was Thursday. So a bad week for that particular guy. But a good week for French television. <laughs> exactly. James Creedon, thanks very much for being That's with awesome. us.